hello guys welcome to the doubtlet so in this video we are gonna learn how to find the rank of a matrix so basically rank of a matrix can be found for any order means it is not necessary that a matrix should be a square matrix so rank can be find found of non square matrix as also so i have just just take uh, just took down some examples to show how we can find the rank of different different matrices of different orders so this is the basic formula to find the rank means we have to count the number of non zero rows in row echelon form of a matrix means first we have to convert the given matrix in row echelon form and then we will count the number of non zero rows so i will tell you the difference between non zero and zero rows so suppose this is the matrix means if a matrix has a row which has all the elements as zero then we can call this as zero row and if only a single element is non zero means this element is non zero then we can call it at non zero row then we will we would need to count such number of rows so i hope you have got the concept of non zero and zero rows now we will just look down at this example means this is a matrix of 2 cross 2 order means this is a square matrix so we will first convert this matrix into row echelon form row echelon form so we will apply some operations means we need to make this element zero so if we will apply the operation in row 2 then what we will do row 2 minus row 1 divided by 2 so if we will apply this operation 2 3 this will become zero this will become 4 minus 3 by 2 so it will become 5 by 2 so here this is the row echelon form means this is the leading element below the le leading element all the elements are zero and in the second row this is the leading element to the left of this all the elements are zero so this is the row echelon form and the number of non zero rows we can count means this is the non zero row and this is also non zero row so number of non zero row are 2 then we can say that rank of this matrix is 2 or rank is determined by row of a where a is the given matrix let's suppose name this matrix as a so the rank of a is 2 it you have to remember rank of a is always less than or equal to number of rows means suppose there there is a matrix which is having 3 rows so rank should be less than equal to 3 it's it can't it can't be it can't exceed the number of rows so now we will discuss the another example of of different matrix so this is the matrix of 3 cross 3 order 1 2 3 2 5 7 and 4 9 13 so this is the matrix now we have to just apply the same process means first we have to find the row echelon form of this matrix then we will apply some operations means this is the leading element means pivot element so to the left of this no element is present so we will not look so the to the downward we need to make this 2 and this 4 zero so to make these both elements zero we need to apply some operations so we will op apply operation in r2 so r2 minus 2 r1 and in r3 this is r3 minus 4 r1 so after applying the operation we will the matrix will be this is 1 2 3 3 this will become 0 this will become 1 this will become 1 this will become 0 this will become 1 and this will become 1 so now uh, the first pivot element we have made means to the bottom of this all are zero to the left of this all are zero now the second pivot element in second row means this is the pivot element in second row so to the left of this all the elements are zero so to the bottom of this this one we need to make zero again so to apply the operation what we need to do we need to apply the operation in r3 so r3 minus r2 correct so after applying this operation what matrix we will get we will get 1 2 3 this is 0 1 1 this is 0 0 and 0 means after applying so now we will just look down for the third row all the elements are zero then we know that this matrix is reduced in row echelon form now we will count the number of non zero rows so first row 
is non zero correct second row is also non zero but third row is not a non zero because all the elements in the third row are zero then we will call this row as zero row so the number of non zero rows in this matrix is 2 so we can say that rank of this matrix is 2 or row of b so let's suppose name this matrix as b so row of b is equal to 2 so here row of b is always less than the number of less than equal to number of rows and it is just fulfilling this condition so these are the two examples that we have discussed to find the rank of a matrix now we will discuss some another example to make this concept to make clarity to just get more clarity on this concept so this is again a 3 cross 3 matrix let's suppose make this ma matrix of 3 by 4 means just make this matrix a uh, like non square matrix let's suppose write the elements as 1 2 and zero just just, just write non zero elements so 1 2 and 3 so now we need to find the rank of this matrix means this is a 3 cross 4 matrix means there are number of rows are 3 and number of columns are 4 then we will definitely get the rank of matrix so let's suppose name this matrix as c so row of c should be less than equal to 3 because there are only 3 rows now we will find the row eclion form of this matrix so to find the row eclion form we will just consider this as pivot element in the first row so to the bottom of this we need to make this minus 1 and 2 as 0 so to make these two elements 0 we will we need to apply some operations so r2 operation r2 plus 4 r1 this is the operation we need to apply in row 2 For row three, row three minus row one divided by two. So after applying the operation, we will get matrix as four, two, three, one. This is th this will become zero. This will become eight. So this will become twelve, six, eighteen. This will become six. And for this, this will become zero. This will become minus one. This will become Minus twelve minus three divided by two, so this will be minus twenty seven divided by two, and this will become three minus one by two, so this is five by two. So this is the condition after applying the first two operations. Now we will check for the second row. So for the second row, this is the pivot element. To the left of this, all the elements are zero. Yes, correct. To the bottom of this, only this element is non-zero. So we will apply the operation in r3 again so r3 operation and we need to make this zero so r3 plus 8 r2 so after applying this operation what we will get we will get 4 2 3 1 this is 0 8 18 6 6 so now the operation in the third row so this is zero this will also become zero so r3 this is minus 27 divided by 2 R three plus eight R two no no no. R three. This is not so. What we need to do with this is eight R three plus R two, correct? So eight R three means minus eight plus eight zero. So R two minus this will become one zero eight. So this will become minus ninety, and this will become for uh, six plus twenty twenty six. so now now we will consider the third row so in third row this is the pivot element so to the bottom of this no elements are present to the left of this all the elements are zero means these three pivot elements are there and this is the final row eclion form now we will count the number of non zero rows so first row is non zero correct second row is non zero correct third row is also non zero correct means the rank of the matrix c is 3 or we can write this as row of c is 3 So this is how we have discussed how to find the rank for a non-square matrix. Now again, I am discussing the um, discussing how to find the matrix uh, rank of a matrix for four cross four matrix. So again, the same procedure we have to follow. 
first we have to find the row eclion form and then we have to kind the count the number of non zero rows so to convert this matrix in row eclion form first we will decide the pivot element in row 1 so in row 1 this is the pivot element and to the bottom of this we need to make this 3 this 2 and this 4 to 0 so accordingly we will apply operations so first we will apply operation in row 2 this is row 2 minus 3 row 1 again in row 3 row 3 minus 2 row 1 again in row 4 so row 4 minus 4 row 1 so these three operations we will need to apply so after applying these operations what matrix we will get we will get 1 2 3 4 we will get 3 1 sorry here applying the operation in r2 so this will become 0 this will become minus 5 this will become minus 9 this will become minus 10 in the third row this will become 0 this will become minus 4 this will become minus 5 and this will become minus 3 in the row 4 this will become 0 this will become minus 5 this will become minus 13 this will become minus 14 now now we will look at the pivot element in row 2 so row 2 this is the pivot element and now we will make this minus 4 and this minus 5 to 0 So again, we will apply some operations. So R two operation R two plus R three divided by minus four. This is this is R two, not R two. We need to apply the operation in R three. so in r3 we will apply operation as r3 minus this will become minus 4 divided by minus 5 times of r2 means if we will apply this minus 4 minus this will minus 4 so it both will be cancelled out so this is the correct operation so for r4 this is r4 minus r2 so after applying these operations what we will get we will get 1 2 3 4 we will get 0 minus 5 minus 9 minus 10 now in this uh, we will get 0 this will become 0 so r3 minus 5 this will become minus this is 4 by 5 times of minus 9 so this will become plus 36 divided by 5 minus 5 so this is 11 divided by 5 now for the last element so this is minus 3 Minus four by five times of minus ten, so this will become plus two eight eight minus five. This is five. Now we will apply the operation in R four. So in R four, R four minus R two. So this will become zero. This will become zero. This will become minus four. This will become minus four. So now we have just checked out the pivot element for row one and row two. now we will just check for row 3 so this is the row 3 and below this we need to make this 4 0 now we will again apply these type of operations again so we will apply the operation in r4 so r4 operation r4 minus so what we will get we will get this as minus 4 divided by 11 11 divided by 5 times of r3 so once we will apply this operation we will get this matrix as 1 2 3 4 this is 0 this is minus 5 this is minus 9 this is minus 10 this is 0 this is 0 This is eleven divided by five. This is five, zero, zero, zero. And if we will solve this, we will get fifty-six divided by eleven. So this is the final row eclion form of matrix D. So this is the matrix D. So now we will count the number of non-zero rows. So first row is non-zero, correct. Second row is non-zero, correct. Third row is also non-zero, and fourth row is also non-zero. So we can say that rank of matrix D is four. So this is how we have discussed. 
all type of examples how to for finding the rank of the matrix so now uh, i hope you have got the concept there are some properties of the ranks and we will discuss those properties in some another video this is how we have learned about the rank of a matrix please like share and subscribe to my channel comment on this video and give the proper feedback and if you have any doubt then visit my website and post your doubt there or post your doubt in the comment box below thank you very much